Welcome back to Maintenance Monday. Today I have a special guest lined up, and here he is. Ooh. So today we are going to see if a complete idiot can change and replace the gear cable on their bike. Let's do this. Is he an idiot? Yeah. Right, so Phil, I think I need to clear something out first. The intro and title of this video is a little bit of a play on words, because I do not think you're a complete idiot. In fact, no one is a complete idiot for not knowing how to fix their bike. It's all part of learning. And if you are learning how to fix your bike, not only should you check out all of our maintenance videos, you could also have a look at our book. It's the Essential Road Bike Maintenance book. Oh, geez. You might like that. And page 72 is what we're going to be working on today. Thank you very much. Um, how to replace your gear cables. Oh. So the first thing to do is make an assessment of the routing of the cables of the bike. So already you've got a couple of different options when it comes to the cable routing on bikes. This one is internally, which means the cables are routed through the internal sections of the frame. And then there's externally where the cables run externally. Pretty simple principle to grasp. So we need our inner cable, boom. Cable end crimped, that's to make it all neat and tidy at the end. We're also going to need a little cable liner. That is going to help make life a little bit easier when we're routing the um, inner cable through the frame. It acts as a guide rather than us losing the cable inside the frame. We're also going to need some pretty basic tools. A hex or allen key. This bike uses a 4mm one. And then we're also going to need a selection of small screwdrivers that just might be helpful. Oh, actually, there's one final thing. Yep. A little section of oil would be good. Cool. Simple. Um, how are the gears on your bike? Absolutely working fine, right? to be honest. Yeah, it's not really an issue. Um, working pretty well. They don't work anymore. Okay. So first thing we need to have a look at doing is undoing the cable pinch bolt on the rear derailleur, which we're going to come over and have a closer look at in a minute. Sure. And then sort of do the reversal of fitting it because we need to get the cable out. So we need to switch sides. You need to grab a former Allen key. Let's meet back here. Okay. So, Phil, today I'm actually going to keep my hands super clean because if I do a good job of explaining everything to you, you're going to be able to do it. Okay. So, with our former Allen key, you need to undo the small pinch bolt on the derailleur, which is holding the end of the cable secure. That's this. Yeah, it shouldn't be too tight. Down here, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. Take your time, hold it in the Allen key and straight. Yeah, that'd be it. Right, with that section done, you can take the outer housing with your fingers and just pull that derailleur up. Pull this section up okay. and out. There you go. Yeah? Yep. Let that go. And then if you look on the derailleur here, this section is called a barrel adjuster. It's used for indexing and adjusting the tension of the cable. Now, already, this is almost unwound all the way out, which means either the cable is gradually worn and stretched and this had to be adjusted, or you've been adjusting the gears on your bike ever so slightly incorrectly. Might have done that a couple of times. There's a small chance that's happened. That could have, yeah. So it's good practice when you're replacing the gear cable on any bike to wind the barrel adjuster all the way back in so that it's got its full range of movement so it's ready to be adjusted should you need to afterwards. Okay. So wind that back in at this stage. Other way. Yep. That's it. I feel like you're going to say other way quite a lot. Well, yeah, but that's what learning's all about. It's what learning. We're all on a journey. There we so go. So it doesn't have to be tight just until there's a bit of resistance. Yep. Okay? This section of outer housing can now be slid off of the cable and set to one side. Okay? Yes. Don't lose that because we need to reuse it. So set that to a side. Now, here is where we're going to move to slide the rest of this inner cable, which pops out under the bottom bracket. This section here looks like it's going to just come out anyway, so we'll remove it. This is the end guide. So this slides into the opening of the frame and is where the end of that housing butts up against and it gives it a, a stop point. That needs to go with the housing, don't lose that. Um, right, we've carefully manoeuvred your bike into quite an unglorified position, I feel. No, this is, yeah, I feel yeah. sorry for her. Have you ever seen the underside of your bike? No, not really. Like, only when I've had a punch on the road and turned it upside down, which um, you should never do. That's good advice. You should never turn your bike upside down. So you've got a small flat-headed screwdriver, and what we're going to do is use that to carefully go underneath this little section of cable and see the housing there, the little blue section? Yep. We're going to go underneath it and then loop that section of cable out. I've never seen this before. That's it. There you go. Now, the next bit, we're going to have to lower the bike back down 
and essentially replicate the process of what we've just done for the back section of the bike, but on the down tube section, which runs all the way up to the lever, uh, to the head tube, sorry. Okay. Okay, yep. bike back down? Yes. Now, you know we ran through all the different tools earlier. Yes. Um, error on my part, actually. I forgot one very crucial tool, cable cutters. Now, a good quality set of cable cutters like this are really going to be valuable and are going to last you a very long time if you make a good purchase. They will get a clean cut on the cable rather than fraying the ends, and that means life is going to be easier when it comes to fitting the cable back through. So you've got the cable inner sleeve guide here. Yeah, what are we doing with this? So we're going to use this to slide over the ends of the cable and guide it up through the frame and poke it out here. That means that when we've removed everything, we can leave this inside the frame, poking out at each end of the frame, and then we can just guide our inner cable back through. Because otherwise, if we poke the cable in here, it could just get lost and get tangled up and snagged on loads of stuff inside the end of the frame. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> so what I would suggest we do, bear in mind you're doing this, right. you're going to take this, slide it over the inner cable, and then slide it all the way up through the frame until we can poke it back out of this section here, yeah? Lovely. All right, cool. I'll leave that to you. Thank you. It's quite therapeutic. Mm. Okay. Uh, what do I do when I get here? Keep Just keep sliding it all just the way keep, through. Just keep going. Yeah. Ah, there she is. Where there, pause. Okay, you can let go. So at this point, we've got the, the guide sleeve all the way in through the frame and the fresh bit poking out of the top, which means we've got more than enough of it. This was like four meters worth. So we can make sure the there's no inner cable on here and just snip this section off there. Oh. So we've got the cable cutters. Yeah, there we go. A hot butter through knife, that's what Hank would say anyway. So what we're gonna do now is we wanna leave this section in place. Yep. Yeah. And then take the inner cable out. Okay. So we can hold this in place, make sure it doesn't move out of the frame, and then just guide that out. There you go. There we are. So now that means when it comes to reinstalling a new cable, we just poke it in there, guide it all the way out, and it will come back here rather than it getting lost inside the frame. Simples, okay. Yeah? Yeah. Like that's it. making sense? Yes, it does. Okay, right, Phil, we made it to the business end of the bike, the front. Now we can look to take our inner cable out and leave this sleeve in place. That's going to make life easier when we come to install it. Don't lose this little cable end stop, just like we've done with the rear one. Set it aside. Okay. That's a really crucial part of your bike. Without that, none of the gears will work. It's important that you change into the, the lowest or the smallest sprocket. Do you know why we do that? No. <laughs> I'm not surprised, <laughs> to be honest. Um, it means that when we peel the rubber hood cover back, so this section, and expose the areas of the lever body where the cable sits, it's positioned so that the end of the cable will slide out correctly. Right. So first thing, do you want to get this peeled back on itself and expose those little areas? Yeah. So this section in here is the bit I was talking about. So that is where the cable will poke out from. Okay. To access that, there's a little cover on the inside and you need your small screwdriver, and you can just lever that little grey cover out. Right. As we take the inner cable and slide it out of here and look to work it all the way up to this point here, your little end cable stop that I said don't lose is going to just drop to the floor, so Excellent. be very aware of Good. that. Good. Yeah. You've got to leave the blue liner in place, yes. take the cable all the way out, and don't lose the cable end stop. You're all about the cable end stop. Well, you don't want to lose these things. No, you don't. Set that onto the bench on the side. Perfect, remember that. Now we're moving on to this section on the top of the lever body where we've gained access to where the cable sits. So if you look on the inside of the lever body, you can see where the inner cable sits. And carefully using your small flat-headed screwdriver, you're going to use it as a pick to lift that section of cable up and then that means we can take it all the way through this section of housing and end up with a ton of inner cable. Now on this side of the lever body is where that little section is. And if I push, actually, you know, you're doing this. Okay. <laughs> push the inner cable through and then you'll see it poke out of this side. The end of the cable will like flick out of place. Go for it. There you go. Ooh. Is that easy or what? Simples. Oh, well, you go, look, go for it, there you go, straight out with the cable. Idiot proof. Um, it is idiot proof. That is ready to go in the bin. At this stage, you're, you're ready to install your new gear cable. Okay. So spin round, get your new gear cable. Sorry. You can kind of just go for it, let it let it do its thing. Yeah. Right. 
So the cables here are very slightly different, depending on the group set that you've got to your bike. So what we need to do here is slide the cable through, and you can go through that top section first. It's important to be a little bit delicate as you're guiding this through, because what you really don't want to do is fray the end of this cable. Yeah. So if you fray the end of it, it's just going to all start unfurling and um, make life very difficult. So being gentle is the key. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't that gentle then. <laughs> I was a little bit pokey. So, pokey. So it is important that everyone is aware that to get that cable end to go into the lever body, there is that slightly lower section with a large opening, which then pushes through and you can pull the cable to get it to sit correctly in the body, okay? Yes. Now, all the simple job that you've got to do next is just um, reversal of what we've just done. Peel a little section of bar tape back with your finger. It might make life a bit easier, but just don't, don't force it too much is the answer. So it's basically, you've got to follow that channel and hold it in there. That's it, just in and out a little bit until you find roughly where it seems to want to vanish. If the cable has gone into this end and it goes through, it's going to poke out of the other end here. Now, it's important not to end up with a big tangled mess here because as you start to run out of cable, and because most of it's poked out of this end, you just need to have a simple 90 degree bend that sits in that little channel and you can put the cover back over. Okay. So just feed the inner cable through and take your time. There you go, that was quick, straight out. Ah, there it is. Yeah? Don't end up with a big knot because we're about to create a big oh, knot. Oh yeah, I see that. You can also just pull this bit, which will help. There. But don't get a knot. Yeah, be gentle with it. Move your hand, that's it. What happens here? You're gonna just turn it like this. Uh, cool. Okay. Yeah? Oh, nice. Yeah. So you can see that that is sat in that little channel now. Yep. So then we can put our little cover back on. Gotcha. I think that is just... It's pretty easy to just feel roughly where it goes. Oh, so easy. Yeah? Yeah. yeah cover back down. Bosh. Make it as neat and tidy as you can. Very Good. neat, very neat, very tidy. Yep. Where's the part that I told you to not lose? Oh, here he is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> have you moved it? I haven't moved no, you it. Haven't, you haven't, 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 haven't. It wasn't your phone. Um, it's important to put this on the correct way round. So did you pay attention to the way it came off? Yeah. Pause it here. So this section needs to go so that this end goes on first, the open end, because that is what that's going to sit into. Got if it. you put it on the wrong way round, then it can't the housing can't sit into it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cable in there. All the way through, that'll poke out the bottom here. Go on. Yeah, keep going. And then you can put that section of the bike back together, basically. So the guide will go back into the frame. Yeah. There we go, yeah, cool. Got it? Yeah. I'm glad we got that sorted. <laughs> right, Phil, uh, to help speed things up, I'm gonna just explain the next little block of jobs that you need to do. So we need to get the section underneath the bike to run through the frame, how it was when we hoiked it out from underneath the bottom bracket. To get access to that, we're gonna pivot the bike up again, like we did at the start. Slide the cable all the way through. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is obviously reassemble the last section of housing, then attach the inner cable to the derailleur and move on to setting up the derailleur indexing. But before we do that, we should check the limit screws of the rear derailleur. So what we're looking is to make sure the top pulley wheel is in line with the sprocket. So if you look from the back, is it in line? Yes, it is. It is in line. It is in line. Fantastic. So that means the lower um, limit screw is set correctly. Now I can shift into, watch yourself on the wheel. Oh, right. I can shift into the small ring. And what I'm gonna do is manually push the derailleur whilst pedaling up into your easiest gear. Slowest gear. Yeah, you use that a lot. <laughs> it gets a lot of use. Um, and you can see the derailleur won't physically move anymore because the limit screw is stopping it. So now we need to check that the upper pulley wheel, which is this section here, is in line with the largest sprocket. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, all good. Okay, so limit screws are good to go. Yes. Find the crucial part, which we said not to lose. Yeah, I haven't lost that one, got that just here. Um, that's exactly the same as the front of the bike, apart from when out the back, so you need to spin it around. Some people will apply a little section of lube onto the cable here, which helps protect it from the elements and slide through this section of housing. Put a tiny little drop onto your finger and just wipe it over the cable. It's really that simple. It doesn't need to do anything major. But okay. back on the way it first came off, it's good practice to like 
put the cables back in the orientation they came. Because otherwise we're gonna, see it's already naturally got a curve to it. Yeah. It would seem silly to bend it the opposite way, so we just go like that. Gotcha, yeah. you're right, yeah. Inner cable through the barrel adjuster. And it starts it like a bike again. Yeah. See where the original pinch bolt is, where the cable was held. Pull the rest of it through, make it neat and tidy. We then need to have no tension on the derailleur. We need to have the shifter in the easiest gear, which it already is. And then what we need to do is remove any slack from the cable and do the pinch bar up. So you've got two hands. One applies some tension to the cable, one doing up the pinch bolt. Phil, where are we at? We've got the cable through the frame, we've got it through the barrel adjuster, through the pinch bolt, slack is removed, and the pinch bolt is secured temporarily. Yes. Now at this point, we're gonna to have to check that the gears are indexed and adjust them accordingly. Now indexing the gears, whilst it might sound like a complicated word and term to sort out, all we're doing is tensioning the cable correctly so that the derailleur moves the corresponding amount to the amount that the shifter is doing. If you move the shifter one click and the derailleur doesn't move enough, you need to add more tension to the cable. You add more tension to the cable by undoing the barrel adjuster. If you shift up into what would be an easier gear, and the derailleur moves too far, you need to remove some tension from the system. But that's incredibly unlikely when you've just set it up new. Okay. Okay, so shall I go for one gear shift first? Yes, yeah, here we go. So it's not quite moving. See, it's close to wanting to move. Yeah? Yeah. So, unwind the barrel adjuster. Couple of turns, a bit yeah. more. Right, and then we'll try again. Here it's clicking, like it's ready to go. Yeah, it's thinking about Keep it. Keep unwinding it, a couple more turns. Wee! Right. There you go, leave it there. We go back down, back up. Not quite, nearly. I think we need, I'm gonna go one whole turn. Ooh. Okay? Okay. Look at that. Yeah? Yeah. If the indexing works on the bottom two gears, it's gonna work through the rest of it. Cool. Because all of the amount that the derailleur moves is controlled by the shifter. Okay. So next thing to do, secure the pinch bolt slightly tighter because we haven't got to make any final adjustments to that. Then we can get our nice quality Park Tools cable colors. Trim the cable down. So okay. in terms of the cable, we want to have no loads left that's going to get caught into the pulley wheels, but we don't want to make it super short. So normally somewhere in the region of 30 mil, so I reckon. You can always cut it shorter. Yeah. So don't be, yeah. be generous is what I'm saying. Yeah. Go for it. Ah, oh, my finger! Oh, don't. Ah, they are, ah you got me! They ah. <laughs> um, really simple now. Sorry. Cable end crimp onto the cable so it doesn't fray and then make sure that it's bent at the correct angle that it's not gonna get caught into the chain, the pulley wheels or the spokes. Yep. Okay? Cool, um, okay, that's all done. Yeah. What's next? Well, it's basically everything. All we've gotta do now is it's good practice to have one final run through the gears to make sure they all work as intended and make sure this little end of your cable doesn't get caught in the, the gears of the wheel. Pretty simple, eh? Yep. Which, I'm gonna do that real quick. Ready, straight up. That's all your handiwork, that, Phil. Ace, hey, very um, proud. Yeah, good job. Hope everyone has enjoyed this video. Something a little bit different. I've certainly had fun filming it. If everyone has enjoyed it, what should they do? They should definitely like it and they yeah. should subscribe to the channel, I'm sure. Um, yeah, that was awesome. Um, leave some comments. Let me know uh, what you think of my maintenance skills <laughs> and um, also my bar tape. Is it as bad as Alec said? It is pretty bad. Um, thanks very much, Phil. You've been incredible. Yeah. Only leave kind words for Phil, because I think he's been a great sport. Um, I think you should come back. We'll think of another maintenance task for you. I'm thinking tyres. This is going to be incredible. Yeah, I can't really do tyres. So that'll be good. Right, see you next week. Cheers, Alan. <laughs> Alan. <laughs> Absolute <laughs> joker. <laughs>